Thanks very much uh, and welcome to the 2018 uh, North Melbourne Sid Barker Medal. Uh, as Ben alluded to, this season started with different expectations uh, from all different angles of the football community. And I heard, I read during this week that many footy experts had tipped West Coast to finish on the bottom of the ladder. Uh, so now you know why I refused to tip in the ladder predictions at the start of the year. And 2019 will be no different. But that being said, there has, there has been a lot of reports of a lot of big moves that North Melbourne are attempting to achieve over the next couple of days, weeks and months. Can't comment too much about that right at the moment, but what I can comment on is some exciting news. And the first bit of news is that Jed Anderson signed a new two-year deal to the end of 2020. So re really exciting and it's always gratifying as a coach when you see a player work extremely hard uh, to achieve his ambitions and his goals and no one's worked harder than Jed over a long period of time to, to show just what he could do and this is only the beginning for Jed. I can also confirm that Trent Dumont has signed a new two-year contract extension to the end of 2021. And the man we call Froggy, or Lurker calls him Lizard, but um, has had a terrific year and really has emerged. But uh, Froggy's really set the foundation for a really uh, outstanding AFL career and we're wrapped to have him on board at least for the next two years and beyond. And earlier in the week, Sam Wright signed for another year. Again, fantastic news for a guy who's worked really hard. Scotty Thompson will be going around again for a 12th season. Just terrific news for all the footy clubs. Scotty's one of, uh, and we talk about shin boners, and up here in previous years I've talked about players like Jack Zebel, Michael Ferrito, etc., as being great shin boners, and Scott Thompson certainly epitomises what we're about as a football club. So some exciting news, and hopefully in the next coming few days we may have some more exciting announcements, but I'll certainly be waiting on that one. Just on the, the list build and, and the work that our list management committee have done over a long period of time. It's been absolutely exceptional. I, I'm always amazed at the amount of work they put in. They don't work normal jobs, they don't work normal hours. Uh, they do a tireless amount of work. So Cam Joyce, who leads our football department so incredibly well, is a massive support to me. He always has been. He's been here since the first day I got to North Melbourne. He's been an enormous support to me. Uh, and to his wife, Liana, who uh, doesn't get as much access to CAM as I do, so I appreciate all your support. Uh, to Michael McMahon, our list manager, and Mark Finnegan, our national recruiting manager, they've done a power of work um, over the last period of time, but I'm sure you're going to see the, the fruits of their labour over the next few weeks. So throughout this year, the level of pride I've had for this playing group has just been at such a high level. Um, currently trying to bribe a number of journalists to write us off again next year because if we can get the level of determination and drive that our players came back to pre-season with last year, if we can get that same level again this year, then the upside's just enormous. And I look at all of our players and they were genuinely uh, disappointed, uh, even dirty, with some of the, the predictions of where we were going to finish last year. And it's always a great reflection on them as competitors that they came out uh, determined to prove the doubt is wrong. But internally, we never had that doubt because I know the level of quality that we have on our playing list. So we saw many players take the next step in their footy development. Uh, others cemented their standing as genuine A-graders in the competition. And the great thing about this list is it has enormous scope for improvement. Coaches, players, all the staff, We've got an enormous amount of work to do. So while there might be some an exciting announcements uh, coming up in the not-too-distant future, we know that last year there were a lot of teams who thought that they're going to bring players in, there are going to be some list changes, and that'll be the panacea. That'll be the thing that catapults them from outside the finals right up to the top of the ladder. So we saw some of those teams go backwards, and we saw other teams that were written off finishing grand finals. So. All that adds up to an incredibly close, close competition and a competition where if you take your foot off the accelerator for any period of time, you get exposed. But the exciting thing about the tightness and evenness of the competition 
is it doesn't take too much to take that next step as well. So we need to return to 2019 with the mindset that we're going to leave no stone unturned, we're going to be unbelievable in our preparation, and we're going to come back with a steely determination that we showed last year, but we're going to take another step forward in 2019. It's always a great evening to celebrate the year that's just gone, but it's always a sad uh, occasion as well because inevitably there are always some players who are moving on. So to all the boys who are moving on, I genuinely wish you all the best and hope uh, that you can find other opportunities, whether that be in football or whether that's in your career after football. Uh, particularly to Josh Drummond, who is uh, moving back home to the Gold Coast for family reasons. Uh, very, very disappointing to lose Josh. He's a close personal friend of mine, a very close confidant in the coach's box. Uh, he's been a, a great uh, support to me and to our footy department and has done a terrific job with our defence in 2018. So we wish Josh all the best. Also to Ben Dyer, who is returning home to Perth. He's done some fantastic work with our young players and we're all seeing a lot of the, the fruits of Ben's work over the last few years with some of the development of our young players. So the man who was just up on screen, uh, Jared Waite. Uh, I, I don't know that I can say much more about Jared than, than I've already um, said, but he's not going to be lost to football apparently. I hear he's returning to my um, alma mater in St Kevin's College. So. Uh, if you want to go and watch a great amateur footballer now, Jared's no longer a professional, so he'll be doing some of his best work down at St Kevin's. Uh, but amazing person, great talent, and I'm honoured to have coached Jared. Uh, to our wider play, uh, coaching group, uh, amazing coaching group. They do a hell of a lot of work. They're the unsung heroes in the football department. Uh, to Jack Zebel and the leadership group, our leaders have taken a, a really big step forward this year in the way that they've led not only the football team, but on the weekend, they really are the face of the football club. They're the ones that everyone follows. They're the ones who get us out of a hole when we're in trouble. Um, and, and they're the ones who consolidate success when we're playing well. So they've done an exceptional job. And to Ben Robbins, who leads that, that leadership program, he's done an exceptional job. And thank you for your work. Thank you. Just Ben's already said it, but I think uh, it would be remiss of me not to thank uh, Carl Delina, our Managing Director and CEO. Uh, Carl ha has been uh, just instrumental in so many things at this football club and uh, it's, it's good timing that we're here at the Sid Barker when uh, the facility redevelopment pretty much starts in earnest next week and Carl's done an enormous amount of work on that facility redevelopment and in conjunction with Ben Buckley and his board we have, as a footy department, a board and an executive that supports us incredibly well. And footy clubs are amazing places. Uh, they're full of passionate people and people who mean well, but it is extremely rare to have a group of people who focus their task on what they need to focus on and then empower the people in football to do their job. And our board and executive do an exceptional job of that and we couldn't be better supported at North Melbourne uh, than we are. We are a unique club, but we are a club that, is, that wants for nothing. We, we pay the full extent of the salary cap. We pay the full extent of the football department soft cap. We're as well resourced as any football department in the competition. And for that, I give great thanks to our board and Carl as our managing director. Just in, in closing, I, I want to thank um, very quickly our, our match committee, who is a coterie that's very, very close to me. I have um, great relationships with all members of our match committee. I really enjoy our time together. We have a great uh, relationship where I can give uh, unique insights into our football workings, and they're a great support to our players and our football department, and also to our Shinboner Club members, who have been just, when I think about when I first came to this football club, uh, where we were, both on and off field, and where we are now, that is in large part due to the support of the Shinboner Network. So thank you to those two coterie groups. Uh, I mentioned Liana Joyce. Uh, the same is also true of, of my wife Penny. She's uh, enormous support to me. I often say to our players, 
We don't sacrifice anything to do what we do. It's not a sacrifice to play Australian rules football. It's an honour, it's a privilege and it's an investment. But it is a sacrifice for our partners. They sacrifice a lot in allowing us to do uh, what we love and to invest in the football club. So Penny is massive support to me and I couldn't do what I'm able to do without her and our two fantastic young boys. Thanks, Pen. And they gave me three minutes, I apologise. Um, to our, but it's really important that, that these groups get thanked and get the recognition they deserve, and I'll leave a lot of people out, um, particularly in the footy department, but ultimately in the football department, as Ben mentioned, we exist to serve our members and our supporters, our loyal fans. We have the most loyal, the most passionate fans in the competition. We recognise it every week and we love your support. And when we go to Eddie Had and we play, it's, there's nothing like the support that we get from you guys. We need it more than ever in 2019 and we love it when you get behind us. <laughs> Finally, it's a, an, another, there's so many exciting things happening at North Melbourne, but Nothing probably more exciting than the introduction of our AFLW team. It's the next time we'll see North, the North Melbourne jumper running around in competition. So to Scott Gowans and the AFLW team, it's a really exciting time. They've assembled an incredible uh, list, a lot of talent. But as we know, talent doesn't do it all for you. So a lot of hard work ahead of our AFLW team, but a really exciting part um, for them to play in the next chapter of the North Melbourne history. So. Have a great night. Uh, it's always a really exciting night. Good luck to all the boys. It's been a, a great year in a lot of ways, but I look forward to a bigger and better 2019. Thanks very much.